So you're just getting into tying and you're looking for a pattern that one, is super easy to tie, and two, doesn't require a lot of materials. The San Juan worm is one of those flies. And as a bonus, fish love to snack on the San Juan worm. So right out of the gate, you're gonna be able to catch a fish on a pattern that you've tied. To tie the San Juan worm, you'll need a standard nymph hook. It's also common to tie this on a Scud Pupa Merger curved nymph hook, if you prefer that. Some 70 denier or 6 aught tying thread and some ultra chenille. Today, I'm sticking with the classics. I'm going with red thread and red ultra chenille, but keep in mind that you can easily switch the color. I've seen this in purple, tan, even blue. So gather up your materials. Let's get tying. First things first, let's get our hook secured in the vise. Now grab some thread. We'll attach the thread to the hook shank using a jam knot. This is done by taking a few wraps forward and then wrapping the thread back on top of itself. Now that that thread's not going anywhere, let's grab the loose end, grab your tying scissors and snip it off. Now we're going to lay down an even solid thread base. So wrap all the way back until you're about even with the barb or right until the hook starts to bend. Now we are ready for our ultra chenille. So grab your clump and snip off about two to three inches. Now stretch out that chenille, center it on the hook and make sure that you have an even amount on both sides. Using a pinch wrap, we're going to attach the chenille to the back end of your thread base. And then we'll wrap over it a few more times to make sure that it's secure. Now we'll fold back the remaining chenille and wrap forward to the front end of our thread base. And now same thing, we're gonna do a pinch wrap and secure that chenille to the hook using a few more wraps. Now we're gonna lock the thread and everything into place using a whip finish. So grab your whip finisher and give it about three to five turns. Sometimes the chenille likes to get caught up in the thread. If this happens, just pause, give it a little wiggle, and that chenille usually pops right back into place. With that whip finish, our material should be securely attached to the hook. We can snip off the excess thread. And if you wanna go above and beyond, this would be a good time to just put a dab of head cement right on the thread. Now we're going to trim the chenille to our liking. Some anglers like the ends of their worm to be longer, some shorter. I prefer to go somewhere right in the middle, so I like it to be about a hook shank in length on both sides. Now comes the fun part. We get to play with some fire. So grab a lighter of choice and we're going to kiss both sides until they start to taper. Doesn't take much. Then I like to rub both sides a little bit just to make sure that any excess chenille or melted pieces come off. And there you have it. If you found this tutorial helpful and easy to follow, we're working on putting together an entire library of tying tutorials, which you can check out right here. Thanks for watching and live real life.